Hi, so this is a quick tour of the locked account feature in NetTools. This feature is sort of uh, more an administration piece. What it allows you to do is actually do a search of the Active Directory for all accounts which are actually currently locked and it gives you some information about when that account was actually locked. So if we just click run and so within this directory we've, we've got a few accounts which are actually been locked out and we can go and look at the properties of those accounts as, as normal pretty much with everything else in NetTools we can see the attributes for it and uh, everything else but what we can also do as well is that for these accounts we can actually unlock them at this screen as well or if we want to we can actually do a group unlock or a batch unlock so we can actually select all of these and un unlock them all at the same time and that will actually unlock those those um, those attributes sorry those those user accounts um, so within here we can actually see some details of the actual user objects so we can see when the time they were locked out and the last bad password um, and then from you know if we want to take it from here we can actually then go and sort of look at last logon and last logon will give us some more details about which DC was actually responsible for that and within this this last logon one we can actually then do display events and it will actually then tell you um, some details about that so this will actually look in the event logs of the actual DCs and one of the features of, of this particular function is that it will actually jump between um, servers following the authentication path so if if there was a, a server failure uh, sorry if there was an account lockout what it would actually do is it would go and look in on the cert on the actual um, domain controller and then if that was actually done from a network logon, this particular case it's actually done because I'm actually on the DC itself. But if the failed failed authentication request come from another server, it would actually then go to that server and then look at the actual event logs on that server, trying to find the actual lockout to actually give you the actual underlying reason. So on this one, it was done on this particular server, so it's only done uh, the event log on this one. But you'd see that it would actually um, say this it's scanning here. Then you see it scan the next server and then potentially a workstation if that's what it was actually doing. And it'll give you a bit of indication of where that actual lockout was actually happening. So that's it for locked accounts. Until next time.